Small changes can make a big difference. Take Action is a short podcast with huge impact. Usually between three to five minutes long, we focus on small, 1% improvements we can make to transform our businesses and lives. We help you make small changes that can change the world. Here's your host, Govin J. Araman. This is Govin J. Araman for Paper Napkin Wisdom, and I wanted to share with you my week in review. So, in the last couple of weeks, I've been dealing with a major personal challenge. There was a major challenge a couple of weeks ago, something that just totally blindsided me and surprised me, knocked me effectively to my knees. And it's been playing with my head quite a bit, quite a bit of the negative narrative that we all have. Well, it, it jumped it up. On top of that, the last couple of weeks have been really challenging from a business point of view and from a personal point of view. Massive, huge challenges. And the typical way that entrepreneurs deal with this is they put the nose down to the grindstone and really grind it out, grind it out with work. And I know that a lot of people out there are feeling the same way, that this is the way you might handle it. Well, I think that one of the things that's been interesting about this for me is that one of the challenges did leave me feeling really isolated. And I did actually retreat to myself. For the first time in a long time, I retreated to myself instead of going to where I had support. And it took for me to be pulled out of that by my forum, my group of people, my peers, my mastermind group. And we had a a relatively casual meeting. And one of the people in the room actually said, hey, you know, I think you're answering this the way you answer it out in the world, and you're not answering this vulnerably enough for here. And that's interesting because I consider myself really vulnerable. So I dug deeper and shared. And the product of it is that I came to a conclusion about what was going on for me, that I felt a door was closed. And I pushed back hard. Someone kept on coming back in another conversation about optimistic ways of looking at it, great silver linings that appear on the hedge of this dark, dark cloud, and I wasn't willing to see them. I just kept on fighting back. But the value of great relationships, the value of a mastermind group, is that despite the big challenges, they come up bigger. And that's what happened for me. What happened for me is that instead of feeling isolated, instead of it just being me against the world, it became me with support me with structure, me with a little bit of protection from those voices inside my head. And when we surround ourselves with people who align with us, when we surround ourselves with people who share our dreams, our visions, our plans for the future, our desire to make an impact and contribution to the world outside, when we share that time with them in a productive and positive way, They don't let you fall. My mastermind group didn't let me fall. My group kept me up. And I'm so grateful for it. Because I think what could have taken me weeks and weeks and weeks, maybe even months, to overcome in terms of the last few challenges, I'm ready to get back at it. I'm ready to get back on them. And I'm ready to face all the personal and business challenges face on. And I think that's different. That level of vulnerability, that level of support, that level of transparency that I can share with these people, including my wife, Stacy, that has been transformational. And with these groups, I want to share with all of you listening that with these groups, what you need to understand is that one person plus one person, me plus another person, is worth much more than just the two of us. It's exponential. And then you add another person and another person and another person to that group, and again, it's exponential. It's like one plus one equals 100, and then one plus one plus one is 400. It's a scale that just grows like that hockey stick. And that's how much strength you can get from a mastermind group. They have to be deeply aligned with your values and you have to be absolutely transparent. 
and accountable to this group. You have to volunteer accountability to this group. So leaders, entrepreneurs out there right now, make sure that you have a mastermind group. If you don't have one now, find one. There are online communities. There are places like the Entrepreneurs Organization, YPO, Vistage, all kinds of organizations in the world where you can get this kind of support. Find one, get one, do it now. My name is Govind J. Raman. This was Paper Napkin Wisdom. Thanks for listening and make it a great week. <laughs>